good morning to all of you welcome to the session today it is the second part of speech the second part of speech is pronoun the first part of speech noun already you have learnt and uh, second part of speech pronoun what is a pronoun in the word itself you see noun so you should tell yourself it has got something to do with a noun so let us start with the definition i would like to remind yesterday i gave the format while teaching nouns i gave the format any topic you should start with the definition or the concept then you should go to the mind map then you should and learn all the different dimensions then you should go to the rules and finally you should know how they ask the questions and how to remember let us start with the definition a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun or instead of a noun what is a pronoun a pronoun is a word all parts of speech are words is a word that is used in place of a noun or instead of a noun in place of look at this example ramesh is a student in this example we have two nouns one ramesh the other one student but in the second sentence i am not going to repeat ramesh i am going to use a word in place of ramesh he is a good student in the second sentence you don't see the word ramesh which is a noun in its place you see one word he what is this he it is a word used in place of a noun because it has been used in place of a noun it is a pronoun what is a pronoun a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun in place of ramesh which is a noun i have used he because it has been used in place of a noun or instead of a noun it is a pronoun this is a basic definition now let us go to the mind map once you get the definition you should think of mind map pronoun we start with uh, definition already you have got then we go to types of pronouns then we go to forms of pronouns then we go to something important subject pronoun agreement the next one object pronoun agreement and the last one any part of speech the most important aspect what is it rules so what is a mind map that goes with a pronoun start with the definition as usual then types forms subject pronoun agreement important from the exam point of view object pronoun agreement important from the exam point of view as usual rules any topic rules very important now already you have got the definition now let us go to types of pronouns types of pronouns the first one personal pronouns what is the first one personal pronouns in english we have pronouns we have types of pronouns and the first one personal pronouns very important first i will tell then i will write personal pronouns are three in number 
first person second person third person and each one has two forms singular form plural form what is first person singular i i am talking about myself then if i am talking about myself i will use i i teach english i is first person singular we have there is a group here i want to include all i say we are here for some purpose what is first person plural we if i am talking to someone i will say you are a student one person you are all students more than one also same you that is second person singular and as well as second person plural i am talking about someone about someone he is she is it is these three come under third person singular and more than one they are third person plural so i'm going to give one table that table is very important learning point of view you know you should know what a pronoun is what the personal pronouns are and this table is very useful to begin with now let me give that table you have pronoun singular plural i said there are three types of personal pronouns first person second person third person you have to remember this classification you may ask why while teaching grammar rules i am going to use i may say quite often first person second person third person singular plural so you should know for sure when i say first person singular what it means so here first person singular is i first person pl- uh, plural is we i we second person singular you second person plural also you you are a student you are all students third person singular very important he she it this is important uh, you may ask why a lot of grammar rules depend on third person singular so while teaching grammar rules i may say quite often third person singular whenever i say third person singular you should think of he she and it and what is third person plural they so this classification pronouns definition you start with then you go to the second dimension types of pronouns and what is the first one under types of pronouns personal pronouns personal pronouns are three in number first person second person third person each one has two forms singular form plural form and first person singular is i first person plural is we second person singular and plural you it doesn't change third person singular he she it and third person plural they now types of pronouns after the first one personal pronouns i should go to the second one but here i am going to go a little off the track instead of second type of pronoun i am going to introduce if you remember the mind map uh, definition uh, types and forms i am going to introduce forms after that i will go back to types of pronouns so here forms of pronouns forms already you have learned personal pronouns i we you he she it they these are all subject forms there are different forms pronouns if you take but the basic forms are two what are they subject form object form these are the basic forms subject form object form if you take the first personal pronoun 
I. I is a subject form. What is object form? Me. We. Us. You. You. He. Him. She. Her. It. It. They. Them. The subject forms I, we, you, he, she, it, they. This is very systematic. And for the same pronouns, object forms I, subject form me, we, us, you, you, he, him, she, her, it, it, they, them. Now you may ask, sir, what is this subject? What is this object? Today I am going to introduce these two concepts. Once you learn these, then you can go to, uh, we can go back to the forms of pronouns, why they are important, how they are important. Let us start with subject. Subject. Subject is a person or a thing. about whom or in which we talk. Whenever we talk, we talk about someone or something. That someone or something is a subject. Subject is a person or a thing. When you learn the concept, you should always underline the key words. Subject is a person or a thing about whom or which we talk. Whenever we talk, we talk about someone or something. That someone or something is a subject. For example, he is a student. Ramesh is a student. Here I'm talking about he, I'm talking about Ramesh. So those words are subjects. Ramesh is a student. Whom am I talking about? Ramesh. So Ramesh is a subject. One more example, the book is here. What am I talking about? The book. The book is a subject. It could be a person, it could be a thing. Whoever, whomever we talk about, whatever we talk about, it is called the subject. Ramesh is a student. We are talking about Ramesh. The book is here. The book is on the table. The book is a subject. This is one definition. Subject has got two definitions. One is, this is a first one, and the second definition of subject, important when you learn active voice and passive voice. Subject is a person or a thing who or which does action. What is the second definition? Subject is a person, again, or a thing, who or which does action. Some persons or some things, certain things, they do action. And others, they receive action. But here, what is a subject? Subject is a person or a thing, who or which does action. No. He is teaching. Ramesh is playing. Who is doing action here? In this example, he is doing action, so it is a subject. In the second example, Ramesh is playing. Who is doing action? Ramesh. That is a subject. The machine is printing the paper. The machine is printing the paper. Now, here it is not a person, a thing, doing action. So this is the subject. Uh, I repeat, this is very important. You should know what a subject is and what an object is. You should have the concepts and the concepts should be crystal clear. What is a subject? First definition, subject is a person or a thing about whom or which we talk. 
whenever we talk about a person or a thing, that person or that thing is a subject. Second definition, very important. Subject is a person or a thing who or which does action. Here what you have to remember, subject is a person or a thing who or which does action. Your focus should be on this, does action. He is teaching. Ramesh is playing. The machine is printing the paper. All these are doing action, so these are subjects. There is one important aspect you have to remember. Note, what is it? Subject usually comes in the first position or at the beginning of I don't know why I'm not able to write the letter O of a sentence. Subject usually comes. When I say usually, you should understand exceptions are there. English, we have rules, we have exceptions. When I say usually, that means be prepared. Sometimes exceptions, and it may not come in the first position or at the beginning of a sentence. But usually, what is a position? Note related to position. Subject usually comes in the first position, in the first position, or at the beginning of a sentence. You have seen those examples. He is teaching. Where is the subject? Beginning of the sentence. The machine is printing. Where is the subject? Beginning. Ramesh is playing. Beginning. But exceptions are there. So this is all about the subject. Now let us go to the second concept. This class is as part of Sridhar CC's online batch 2. To watch full video course, log on to www.sridharcc.com hash online course. Subjects covered in this batch are useful for all competitive examination which a graduate can write in India. Reasoning, quantitative aptitude, general English, current affairs, computer awareness and banking awareness. We are going to cover all these subjects in two different levels, basic level and advanced level. Basic level is useful for preliminary examination. Advanced level is useful for mains level. The batch includes 450 plus hours of classroom teaching and 150 plus hours for topic wise test explanation. Medium of teaching classes and explanation completely in English medium. PDF material will be provided in English medium. Topic wise test for each and every subject including each and every topic will be conducted and there are three packages available the major three months six months and then 12 months packages are available in three months structure you'll get 450 hours plus classroom teaching pdf copies topic wise test on all chapters monthly model test and explanation special live classes access for three months three months current affairs including pdf and student can watch all the above videos for n number of times apart from this every wednesday we will conduct preliminary examination in three months period you'll get 12 to 13 preliminary examinations followed by explanations and every second sunday and fourth sunday we will conduct mains examination in three months we can write six mains level exams in six months course you'll get 450 plus hours teaching pdf copies topic wise test for all chapters monthly model test and explanation special live classes access for six months and six months current affairs including pdf copies and student can watch all the above for n number of times in six months you can write 24 to 26 preliminary examinations and 12 mains examinations in 12 months course special live classes access for 12 months will be there 12 months current affairs will be there and n number of times you can watch preliminary exams 48 to 52 exams you can write and there are 24 mains examination and ex each exam followed by explanation 450 hours plus teaching pdf copies along with pdf copies for 12 months course we will send printed material to your home if you have any queries please contact us on 950 or mail us on online.sridhacc 
at gmail.com